hey bestie welcome back to another video on my channel and if it is your first time here a very warm welcome to you and i hope you consider subscribing to the channel today we are doing a short screen set uh, so we start by prepping the nails which is push back the cuticles and now we are removing the dead skin from the cuticle and we gently file the nail to remove the shine from the nail and when we're done filing we will remove the dust from the nail some of you may notice that i am using a 80 80 grade file on a natural nail which is wrong but the reason i'm using this 80 80 grade file is because it's the one from shein and it's very soft it does not feel like in an 80 80 grit at all so i use these for um the natural nails and when i shape the tips i use an 80 80 grit file from planet nails and i think you'll notice the difference between this 80 80 grit and the black one from planet nails this one is much softer and it's not um it's not harsh on the natural nail but you should not use an 80 80 grit file on a natural nail you should uh, use maybe 180 or 240 somewhere there so i just wanted to clarify that so now i am using my plain girl um, glue to uh, attach the tips to the natural nails i did this on all 10 nails and I cut the tips to the client's desired uh, length and because she wanted an almond shape I started using my small scissors to cut the size to make the filing much easier to shape the almond shape and I also did that on all 10 nails now I am blending the tips to the natural nail and shape them to the client's desired shape and after that I will apply my dehydrator after removing the dust of course I will apply my dehydrator followed by sticky bond and after that I will apply my primer or bonder Now it's time for an acrylic application. So I always place my bed close to the cuticle and then um, tilt my finger down and gently pat the bead and let the gravity do the work and gently brush the bead to cover the whole nail. But if there is a need, I do add a smaller bead to feel where there are gaps.
now I am reshaping and filing the nails and after filing the nails I will craft them to make the surface smoother and clean them with an alcohol spray then um, start with nail art if you have any questions or suggestions please let me know in the comment section down below and also don't forget to like uh, comment share and subscribe to the channel So I'm adding this green sugar thingy before curing the gel 
um, and I will remove the excess after curing. I will curl the gel for 60 seconds. Now I am doing an ombre, so today I wanted to try the sponge. I, um, I tried using the sponge to create an ombre and it was not bad. It was not bad at all. It was my first time trying this and it came out good. It came out looking very good. I kept repeating this process until I was happy with the ombre so if you want to try this I suggest you keep doing this until you are happy and satisfied with the way the ombre looks don't forget to cure in between the layers
we added um, top coat on top of the sugar glitter because she doesn't like the texture and this is how the set turned out thank you so much for watching the video see you on the next one don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the channel bye